Hello everyone, this is Mike from BTR Budget Tech Reviews and today is the second review video of the Alcatel OneTouch Evolve by T-Mobile. Alright everyone, so I wanted to start off uh, this video with a Quadrant Standard benchmark score, so uh, this might take a while considering that the specs of this phone aren't up to par with a lot of uh, other phones, specifically mid-range and higher-end devices, so I'm going to just jump ahead uh, to the score. Alright, so the test is just about done. It's uh, working with the, I guess, the graphic abilities here, and as you can see, on the bottom it says that it's running at like 45 uh, frames per second on there so let's take a look at the benchmark score guys see what we got going on here I've already done this a couple times and my R device uh, benchmarks a 2305 and I don't know if you ooh, excuse me I don't know if you guys can see that on camera because uh, on my screen it comes out blurry but yeah there it is score 2305 and not a very high score it's very uh, you know, it's very low, but it's third to last, so it's not at the very bottom of the, you know, of the spectrum there. Of course, this is a single core processor, so you're going to feel the stutteriness. You're going to feel the lag of the of this device. So, as you can see here, I already have some widgets set up on the home screen. I got my Gmail widget, and I don't really have anything um, over here as far as, uh, you know, more widgets or, you know, apps and stuff like that. It's, you know, I like to keep it simple. So this has five home screens, by the way. So um, from here, let's, gonna, let's go to speed test. And uh, if you guys purchase this phone, you'll know that it's a 3G phone. It, uh, but uh, Sprint or T-Mobile, excuse me. Well, I should say Sprint T-Mobile because Sprint and T-Mobile apparently are merging for like 50 billion dollars so so if you're a part of t-mobile and you'll soon be a part of sprint again i was with sprint uh, a while back a couple years ago and i switched to t-mobile because the network was so much better and here my freaking phone just turned off but there you go um let's begin tests but this is a 3g phone but it does run off uh t-mobile's hsp a hspca or something network it's their 4g network actually but Let's take a look. I'm uh, in my apartment building actually, so on a good day, I, I know I can get like better bandwidth than what it's showing here, or better data speeds. Um, and I'll I'll run a couple more speed tests. I might change the location, but this is actually going relatively slow for this 3 3G. I remember having it go up to like five six megabits a second. Uh, on their 3G network, so this might be just because I'm indoors right now, and I live on the bottom of a two-floor apartment here, so uh, let's go to settings really quick, if I can get that going here, you know, no wonder it's uh, using the Los Angeles server, I don't know if I can change that any, because I live in Texas, so this is kind of interesting, see if I can get anything close, remotely close at least, let's see. Nevada, Tijuana, San Diego, California. Mm, right there, it's using Los Angeles. Man, I think I guess the phone thinks I'm in California, so I guess we'll just uh, go back and I'll use Chihuahua, 510 miles away. That's technically closer than. Let's try that. We'll restart the test. See if we get better ping or data speeds. So this is very interesting to me, guys, because I was getting better data speeds, and now I'm getting squat. So this might be a turnoff for some people, especially if they're using um, uh, if they like to stream video, if you guys like to be uh, sending videos via Snapchat or something like that. It's uh. But this phone does get better download speeds. Uh, on a good day, my phone gets uh, faster than 3 megabits a second. So, so I mean, you, you shouldn't have a problem streaming video and watching stuff like that. 
And just because of that, I, just for that, I want to try going to YouTube and playing a video here, just to see if I have issues. Cause I am running on the on their data network. Oh, as you guys can see, by the way, this phone does have a a little light sensor going on there. And if you can see me there, I'm not wearing a shirt, so you know, don't freak out because I'm not wearing a shirt. But oh yeah, it has a notification a light. You know, if you have any text messages or missed calls, you know, I thought that was really cool. Uh, considering I bought this phone, it was only sixty dollars, so. You know, for a budget phone, this phone does have little keen features that, you know, some other high-end phones do have. doesn't have a dedicated camera button, but most phones nowadays don't. So, you know, it's, you know, and it feels good in the hand. It doesn't feel like, you know, it's cheaply made, you know, compared to my Nexus phone, you know. It feels up to par as far as weight goes, you know, as far as durability. Although, the, the, this is pl all plastic, so you have to keep that in mind that... No, that's all plastic. Let's take a look here. Let me see if I can look at my videos really quick. If I can get this going. Here we go. Let's go to my uploads. And, you know, you can see and feel the stutteriness when using this phone. And here is the first review video. Let's see if I can get that going. Of course, it's not going to be in HD since it's running on the data network. And this swipe to the right, as you can see, the transitions from, they're pretty smooth, but if your phone is updating any apps, you're going to feel lag, lots of lag. So let's see if this can play the first review video of this phone just a little bit, just to see how slow the data speeds are going. If not, then I'll probably remake a video and, and try... Try fixing it. And as you can see, this this, this speaker grill is back here. But it's pretty loud, actually. So you know, I'm watching my own video. But it's playing. Not in HD, but it's still playing. Okay, everyone, let's get this review started. Uh, I've had this phone for All about right. a week, so I'm um, going to try to get the two or three videos out of it. Wait, uh, okay, here we go. So as you can see there, uh, it did play the video running on the 3G data network, the uh, HSPA Plus network for T-Mobile. You know, it does run, once you get it going, it runs pretty good considering it's a 3G phone. This phone uh, does download up to 7 megabits a second, I think, or I want to say uh, 6 to 7 megabits a second, so that's as high as it's going to go. It's not a, you know, it's not a 4G phone, which will go up to 20-some, and, you know, LT phone, which goes up to 40, I think. So, you know, it just, it just varies. But uh, from there, <coughs> and I just want to get a little, um, a little game footage going, I guess, before I finish off this video, since I'm probably going to hit the the 10 minute marks and I only downloaded two games for this phone specifically because uh, just because this phone has very little RAM so I think it's got what 512 megabytes of RAM and it's only got a gigahertz processor and it's a single core so I didn't think that uh, a lot of games could handle or I didn't think this phone can handle a lot of games as far as you know graphic interface I feel like it's gonna lag and I've already played Temple Run on this a couple times, and it seems to play okay. So, you know, if you play a little more graphically inclined game, you might get um, you might get the same. You might get different. And I don't know why the screen keeps turning off. I don't know if that's just because of the, my display duration. I'm, I need to change it from 30 seconds to a minute. But, and the screen is actually a pretty bright, crisp screen. I'm not going to lie. Let's take a look at responsiveness. So, so far, you know, I feel a little bit of stutterness, but... And you you can probably see it in the video also, but... Not a... Not a bad phone to be playing this game. I'm letting the monkey catch up. And I'm just sliding down, I don't know... I don't know, I haven't played this game in a while, so... I didn't know they added water to... To it. Whoa. 
But as you can see, Temple Run 2, which is still one of the top downloaded games, <clears throat> is playable. And of course, you can download Minecraft and other games. Snapchat is compatible with this phone also. You know, apps fit like Facebook and Tumblr and, you know, they're all compatible with this phone, surprisingly. So, you know, I mean, Minecraft as well, as mentioned. So, okay, I'm going to go back. You've all have seen enough of uh, Temple Run 2. Now I'm going to end this video here, uh, and uh, I'm probably going to try to get one more video on my third review video. I'm going to see if I can get uh, some, you know, pictures from the camera, some video footage. It's supposed to take 720p video. There is no flash, so, you know, that's going to be upsetting to a lot of people, but it does have a front-facing camera, so I'm going to take some front-facing selfies. I'm going to go outside and do that, and take some uh, rear shots and of course some video and we'll see how that goes and of course I, I will I will show you how it responds with uh, the browser of course and I guess just anything that I feel like I left out for this phone so uh, thank you guys for watching and as always please subscribe thank you